We begin here tonight with the pandemic and the rising number of cases across the tri-state area. Today, across New York State, there were close to 78,000 new cases. In New Jersey, more than 31,000, which is a new one-day record. In Connecticut, there were 10,000 new cases, and there is also concern about the rise of hospitalizations, particularly in the New York area. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live on the West Side with more on that. Jessica. Well, Christine Maurice, tonight, Mayor Adams said the past two years have been full of fear and fatigue, and perhaps nobody really understands that more than our health care heroes, the men and women going to their shifts at these hospitals each and every day. And so tonight, the mayor is taking extra steps to make sure those men and women have more of what they need. And we know that people are worried about Omicron. We know what it is doing to us. And nearly two years into this pandemic, what it's doing is putting another massive strain on our city hospitals. The number of COVID positive patients hospitalized has soared past 10,000 for the first time since 2020 with a case count that is unprecedented. Over 30,000 cases a day uh, on the seven day average. And we are seeing the impact in our hospitals. About 75 to 80% of all hospital beds across New York City are occupied right now. Um, and that number uh, we do expect to increase in the coming days. The mayor plans to pour resources into the system, giving $27 million in Goldman Sachs backed loans to support the city's safety net hospitals, plus $111 million to help city health and hospitals address staffing shortages. Pump up baseline staffing, including doctors, nurses, medical technicians, and support workers. And it would increase the overall COVID capacity in how we respond. And adding workers at the Department of Health. Governor Hochul addressed the latest wave of the crisis in her first State of the State Wednesday, recognizing the toll taken on the heroes who are still on the front lines. They're not only physically exhausted, they're emotionally exhausted too. And now there's another potential threat facing healthcare facilities, Florona. That's the combination of flu and coronavirus at the same time. Confirmed this week in Los Angeles County in a young man under the age of 18. Doctors in the tri-state area say they have no doubt there are cases here too. What kind of symptoms might we have if we have Florona? Fever, headache, chills. Immunologist Dr. Pervy Parikh says if you're sick, you should ask to be tested for both. I think we'll be seeing more of it now since last year our flu season was so much milder than it is this year, uh, predominantly because everyone was so much better at getting their flu shots last year, masking. Our biggest fear is a twindemic. A twindemic means that there will be a lot of COVID cases, a lot of flu cases, and those overlap cases too are possible. And remember, flu season typically goes strong until the month of May. So there is still time to get your flu shot and your COVID vaccine. Reporting from the West Side tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Good reminder, Jessica. Thank you.